Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Chow Vin Sung. Welcome to our Healthy Eyes, Healthy Life series. Today, let's talk about what to expect for a retinal assessment. The retina is the light-sensitive tissue at the back of the eye. If you have a retinal disease such as age-related macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy, you will require additional tests to assess your retina on a regular basis. To find out more about these eye conditions, please watch these videos. Before performing the retina test, eye drops to dilate your pupil are required. Your vision will be blurred for 4 to 6 hours after pupil dilation, so it is not advisable to drive during this time. When the pupils are dilated, your eye doctor will use a lens to examine your retina at the slit lamp. Fundus photography may also be performed. This involves taking a digital photo of the retina with a camera. You will notice some bright flashes when the photos are being taken. Another test is called the Optical Coherence Tomography or OCT for short. This uses light waves to obtain a high-resolution and detailed scan of your retina. The resolution of the OCT scans is so good that you can make out the different layers of the retina from the scans. Precise measurements of the retina can be obtained with the OCT so that we can monitor for any changes over time. For some people, fundus fluorescein and indocinin green angiography may be required for further evaluation. For both of these tests, a dye is injected into a vein in the hand or arm. This dye travels to the eye and allows us to see blood vessels more clearly. It also allows us to tell whether there is any fluid leaking from the blood vessels in the retina. This test takes 10 to 30 minutes to complete. If you wear contact lenses, they would need to be removed before the test. I hope that you enjoyed this video about retina eye tests. Please subscribe to our channel to learn more about the other types of eye tests and about important eye conditions. Till then, I wish you healthy eyes and a healthy life.